everybody, I'm Ashley Esqueda, and it's time for another installment of Just Show Me on Tekka TV, where we take your tech toys and gadgets and show you how to get the most out of them. Today, I'm gonna show you how to set up file sharing on your Mac desktop or laptop. Now, well, file sharing is an interesting feature where you can allow access to your computer by someone else who's not right there using your actual computer. So for example, maybe you get a hold of a tech support and they want to have access to what's going on on your desktop from their call center. This is something that file sharing and feature sharing lets you enable. So let's check out how to enable and disable those features. From our Mac's desktop, we want to go to the Apple in the upper left-hand side of the screen and open System Preferences. Once System Preferences is open, you'll see a slew of different options available to you as a computer administrator. What we're looking for is under the internet and wireless heading under sharing, and it's a little folder. Now, this is your sharing screen. There are many different services that you can enable on your computer. Today, we're gonna to focus on file sharing in particular because that's one a lot of people use to share their music collections in their family or in their household. So let's check off file sharing. You can see that Windows sharing is set up as on. Now this will allow any Windows users to access your computer. Now Mac is already set up to run on its own network, but if you have a Windows PC at home that you want to access your files from on your Mac, this is a great option for you. So we'd like to add a shared folder to our list. I'd like to add my desktop. So let's click on the plus sign underneath the shared folder section. And once we do that, we will be allowed to browse through our computer and choose what we would like to share. So I'm actually just gonna pick desktop on the left-hand sidebar and click add. Now once I've done that, you can see that desktop has now shown up in my shared folders list. When you click on it, you can see who is allowed to access it. I have access to read and write files, which means I have access to see and edit or modify them. Everyone has no access, meaning they will not be able to see or modify those files. I don't necessarily want everybody to access those files and modify them or even delete them. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna choose read only from the drop-down list next to everyone. Now this means that if someone were to access my desktop, they would only be able to see those files and not make changes to them. And once we've done that, we are set up for file sharing. If you're interested in any of the other options or services on the left-hand side and would like to know more information, you can actually click on it to highlight it and then choose the question mark button in the lower right-hand corner. Any highlighted service will pull up a special help page specifically for that type of service, and it will give you more information about it and tell you what exactly that service does. If you'd like to shut off file sharing for any service, it's as easy as unchecking the box in the service list next to the name of the service you'd like to shut off. So you can see I've unchecked the file sharing button and it now says file sharing is off. Well, hopefully you're starting on the right path towards file sharing and different service sharing, but for today, we have shared a file on our computer and we've set up file sharing for our Mac. That's it for Just Show Me on Tekka TV. Be sure to check out Tekka.com for all of our other content and we'll see you next time.